Hello everyone, my name is Michelle Angelo Rocha and I'm a PhD student in Educational Leadership and Policy Studies at the University of South Florida. Today I'm here with a very special guest, is Dr. Silvana de Gregorio. Dr. de Gregorio is the author of the chapter Voice to Text, Automating Transcription, part of the book Analyzing and Interpreting Qualitative Research after the interview that is in production right now with SAGE. Dr. Silvana de Gregorio is research director at KeySR International, the developers of NVivo. She's a sociologist and a former academic. She has been training, consulting, and publishing qualitative data analysis software since 1995. For 60 years, she had her own training, constancy business, CGJ Associates. She's author of Using Web 2.0 Tools for Qualitative Analysis and co-author with Jujit Davison of Qualitative Research Design for Software Users and Qualitative Research and Technology in the Midst of a Revolution and co-author with Linda Gilbert and Christy Jackson of Tools for Qualitative Analysis. Good morning, uh, uh, Dr. Silvana de Gregorio. Um, could you tell me a little bit about your chapter? Right. So um, what I hope that people will learn about my um, from my chapter is that there are automated transcription tools that can take the heavy lifting out of transcription and transform what can be a mind numbing task to one that facilitates the beginning of the analysis process. Um, often there's not much attention paid to the tools that support the qualitative research journey. So I provide a brief history at the beginning of the chapter of the development of transcription tools. Automated transcription software is the most recent of these tools. It uses artificial intelligence to listen to audio and video files and transcribe it into text. But I show that it should not be seen as simply a mechanical tool where you can upload a media file and download the text. All such software have editors where the text is linked to the audio file. This enables the researcher to not only correct any textual mistakes, but to pay close attention to how the words are spoken, you know, being attuned to any hesitations or emotions evident in the voice. This process facilitates the interpretation process as the researcher goes through the transcript in the editor. So without automated transcription software, researchers had to just focus on trying to get the words down as they listed to listen to an audio file. Um, they weren't able to focus on interpreting the data. With automated transcription software, researchers get an excellent working draft of their interview or whatever they were recording in half the time it took to record so they can immediately focus on reflecting and interpreting the data. Oh, thank you. And uh, how do you think your, your chapter can contribute to qualitative analysis? So um, any new tool can have an impact on the analysis process. For example, the availability of portable tape recorders back in the 1960s and 70s enabled researchers to capture talk which led to a whole branch of study, which became conversational analysis. In the same way, in my chapter, I discuss how you need to leverage the affordances that automated transcription software gives you. For example, um, you'll be able to get a first draft of the audio or video on the same day of the interview or the event you recorded. So this allows for a tighter iterative approach between data collection, transcription, and analysis. You can immediately review a first interview, reflect in a memo about it, and depending on your approach to data collection analysis, make pertinent changes to your interview guide for your next interview. In my chapter, I talk about the need for researchers to reflect on their current transcription practices and how their workflow might change when they adopt a speech recognition transcription service. Respondents might be um, queried the day after their interview, for example, to clear up any ambiguities in the transcripts. Um, so I, I give examples how a workflow when doing research in a team can be adjusted when using automated an automated transcription service. 
Um, I recently was leading a research team where we used in vivo transcription. The three of us did our own separate interviews, immediately uploaded them to in vivo transcription, and went through the transcript in the editor and imported them in in vivo together with summaries of the key notes. This was all done either the day of the interview or the day after. I, as, as lead researcher, then reviewed the summaries, which gave me direction on how to start coding the transcripts themselves. So this process enabled a much tighter working relationship within the team as we could start discussing what we found through the initial summaries of the research within days of completing the interviews. We could detect sooner whether we reached saturation point with the interviews or whether we needed to do a few more interviews in different sectors. Wow, that's great. Um, uh, how, how, what did you learn through, the, through, through this process? So, um, as you know, writing is about writing and rewriting and rewriting and rewriting. Uh, when I started the chapter, I had a simpler case study in mind to illustrate the affordances of automatic transcription software, but I wasn't very happy with it. Then I remembered a study that I did 11 years ago before such software existed. Um, I did a couple of focus groups, which I had audio recorded, but I also had several videos. Um, I had used Camtasia to video record the computer screens of people who were exploring different websites. And they were using a talk aloud protocol to explain while they were moving from one website page to another and so on. And I remembered that I transcribed the focus groups, but didn't have time to transcribe to transcribe the video recordings. So I had to modify what my research goals were accordingly and limit what I was able to report. But as everything was in an in vivo project, I was able to revisit it easily. And fortunately, I'd kept a very good research journal. So I was able to review my notes on the transcription process. Um, I decided that I would use in vivo transcription to quickly transcribe some of those videos. And in doing so, I was better able to see the differences using an automatic transcription service can make. I learned that I could use the editor to divide up the transcript so it would mark out the parts of the video where the respondent was not saying anything, um, but was exploring the web page. And I used the speaker column to label those sections, you know, exploring. Um, and when the respondent was speaking, I used their pseudonym in the speaker column. So I was learning, I was learning uh, while I was writing and while I was doing this, how I could adapt the transcription editor to support the needs of my analysis. Um, so while writing the chapter, I learned more about the affordances of an automatic transcription software. That's awesome. So thank you so much for coming and talking to us today. And uh, I can't wait to get the book and read the, your chapter. Thank you very well, much, Michelle.